Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Happy Wednesday. I hope everybody is having a great time. We are going to talk about another holiday collection for 2016. This is from Ulta Beauty Cosmetics. This is the Make Today Pretty 72 piece collection. So it looks like this. And if you want to know what I think about this product, just go ahead and keep on watching. By the way, this is $19. I forgot the exact price, but it's almost like $20. I'm actually scooting up so that you guys could see what the kit looks like. So the value, um, the original price for this one is $24.99. And the value of this one claims to be $200. I think that is overreacting, but whatever. So it looks like that. There is actually two kits that is $20 that you can choose from. The one is called brilliantly beautiful color essentials collection and i just decided to choose this one because there are so many products inside so and in my opinion this one looks so much better than the one that has like a gold with a pullout but yeah so that's what it looks like and later on i will open this up so you guys can see what it, everything looks like and what you can do with this bag as well So on the inside, you can just read what you are going to get and some of the ingredients as well. And then it says here, collection includes 42 eyeshadows, 4 correcting concealers, 2 illuminators, 2 blushes, 2 bronzers, 2 eyeshadow primers, 3 brow powders, 1 brow wax, 6 cream eyeliners, 2 matte lip creams, 2 butter balm lip glosses, and 4 liner pencils. So... Without further ado, let's open this up. Sparky, please stop that. So it looks like this. I hope you guys can see that very well. Oh, guys, I'm so not naked, okay? The, the top that I'm wearing right now is just nude. I don't want you to think that I'm naked while doing this. That is just so disgusting. <gasps> Hold on. So I'm just going to sit here and just going to lay this flat so that we can all appreciate on what this looks like because it's really beautiful. And you have your lip products here, two lip creams, two uh, lip balms, and four eyeliners. And then you have your concealers in the side. And you have your blushes, illuminators, and bronzers, which has a brush as well. And uh, it also has a spoolie here and two brushes that you can use for your eyes. And one-sided, one-sided, one applicator that has a dual sided sponge tip and you have your primers here brow wax brow powders and then you have your liners here you will also get this five dollar off coupon with any ulta beauty brand cosmetic and then you have your eyeshadows so this is what it looks like let's move on to the swatches so one of the things that I like about this kit is that when you are done with it, you can actually just easily remove this and then use this bag to whatever the shit that you want to. You can put makeup again or whatever. I think this is so pretty. And you also have this poison that you can give to your husband just in case he doesn't make his shit together, if you know what I mean. So I'm just going to save that here. All right. Guys, I'm just kidding. Kids, if you are watching this, please don't do that. I also forgot to mention that you will actually see one of these as well on the inside. It says here, learn secrets from the pros. And you got a website here where you can just go directly there and they will teach you some tutorials on how to use the kit. So this is what the brush, I mean for the powder blush. So this is what the blush brush looks like. I think it's really cute but I usually don't use it unless if I'm traveling I might bring this one or if I'm out of the party and I really won't need it to bring something that is very light. I always keep everything in one place and just in case I need some for my tiny bag I would just grab some of the disposables and then just bring it. I know this is not a disposable but I'm just saying that just in case I need something really tiny to bring I'd bring something like this. <laughs> So these are the swatches from the concealers. And then you get your highlighters here and a bronzer. And then there is a matte blush, but it's 
the matte blush and the matte contouring powder is really having a hard time in life. It is, it is a little difficult when you are trying to pick it up from the pan. So yeah, that's what it looks like. So these are the applicators on the right side of the kit. You have something that looks like a small lip brush. And then you have this angled brush that I think it's supposed to be for the eyebrows. But this is, we all know that this is not going to be effective in, if you are going to use this for your brows because your tools are as important as your um, the quality of your makeup. It makes a huge difference in the makeup application. And then you have this dual-sided applicator and then this spoolie. So here you got your matte eyeshadow primer, your champagne eyeshadow primer, and then you got your brow wax, and then your three shades of the brow powder, and then your gel liners. So that's what it looks like. As you can see, these are, take note that these are already finger swatches. So when I put this at the back of my hand, there's a little bit of pressure already, but it is really having a hard time showing, especially the nude matte eyeshadow primer it is so dry so these are your lip products you have your two matte lip creams and you have the two glosses this is in the shade staring and then tender and you got um fiona and then popsy this is a little bit sheer this gloss has a little bit of pigment i love all of the eyeliners that they have in this kit they are very creamy and very pigmented as you can see So I will be starting with the pink correcting concealer and then I'm going to top that off with the light warm concealer. In my opinion, these concealers do not really conceal that much. The coverage is very light and the formula is really, really thick. It has a smell of this kind of like a strong wax smell, more of like crayons. And I'm also using this green correcting concealer. And then after blending it on the sides of my nose, I'm going to top it off with a foundation because it's really hard to blend that much. And I'm just going to use a translus uh, translucent powder later on. And then I'm going to do my brows. I'm going to start with the taupe brow powder, which is not showing on my brows. So what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to put a little bit of wax and then put a powder on because I find it easier that way for the color to show on my brows. I hope you guys don't mind if I don't use the brushes that is included in the kit because we all know that in reality nobody uses that shit because it sucks. Now I'm gonna use this nude matte eyeshadow primer in my opinion. It just feels like um, the same exact formula with the concealer. This is not something that is miraculous for me. For my wash, I'm going to use the uh, cream eyeshadow. This is more of like a yellowy type of color and this is matte. And then I'm going to follow that up with Rich. This is a light brown shade and I'm going to mix that with Smoke. But it's still not working out. You guys have no idea how long I've tried blending everything in. But I just ended up using Soul, which is one of the dark shades in the palette and it's also matte so it's a little bit patchy it's really hard to work with something that doesn't really want to work with you some of the matte shades in this palette is very weak and sometimes it does not show but when it shows it's kind of patchy but some of the colors here i can tell you guys it's really amazing blends beautifully but you know, it's just a little bit of hit and miss. It's not much of a big deal if you can think about it that you just paid $20 for this one. It's not really that bad. Then I'm going to add pink bow 
on my outer V, which is a very wonderful rusty red color, kind of like burgundy, I could not explain, but it is just so beautiful. To tell you guys honestly, I'm enjoying the eyeshadows. I know some of the colors does not really show that much, but I think it's just an easy fix. You can just use one of your best primers, and then I believe that you are going to be good to go. To make everything different today, I'm going to use a plum cream eyeliner, and I just find it really... I f it doesn't set like shit. It does not set. I feel like it's just petroleum jelly with a little bit of color because when you apply it under your eyes it's going to be very sheer and you have to build it up now when you build this color up the problem is when you put on some lashes it won't stick like it took me four times for my eyelashes to stick and that's only because some of the product that is very close to my lash line some of the product was already removed so this is if you are going to wear false eyelashes i do not recommend using any of the cream eye uh, 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 eyeliners that they have in this kit because it just does not set at all like it does not I love the cool matte bronzer that is included in the kit, but I just wish that they have other shades for a bronzer or for contouring because all of us has different types of skin. So I think it would be really unfair for some people not be able to use the product, I mean use this kit as a whole if I make sense. I think um, one highlighter instead of having like three shimmery things going on here of a bronzer and highlighter, I think that it would be nice if there is another matte contouring shade that is included so that everybody could use it. Now talking about the illuminating powder that they have as well as the shimmer bronzer, I really do think that it's really effective in terms of giving you that beautiful glow i'm loving it it looks really nice in person probably most especially when you go out and when the sun hits your cheeks it's absolutely gorgeous i really love ulta's eyeliner pencil i find them very creamy and very very easy to use so i'm using the shade where is that this is brown, this is black brown, and I'm just going to put that halfway. I don't want to go all the way because I don't want to scare anybody outside. So just see, it's just really very easy to use. So probably one of my personal favorites in this kit. Not to mention these eyeliners are also pigmented, that's why I love it. For my lips, I will be using the matte lip cream, and this is in the shade Tender. This is a beigey, nude, beautiful color. I absolutely love the formula of this one. It's just really nice. Even if there are cons in this collection, I find it really good, most especially in the price point. Remember, you will be getting this beautiful cosmetic case. Even if I do not like the concealers, at least they can serve as a highlighter or something that can brighten up your face. And even if I don't like the cream eyeliner, I can still use them as an eyeshadow base. There are so many things that you can do with this kit. Even if the eyeshadows doesn't work that well, of course you can make everything work. There are a lot of pretty good eyeshadows in this kit as well. And the lip products that is included in this kit, I absolutely love the color choices. You have this very beautiful red and this uh, very nice beigey tone, uh, what do you call this, nude lip cream that is absolutely gorgeous. I love this kit and I recommend it for giving it to the teens. I think the ones that will really like this the most are the teens. They can do a lot of things with this. They can experiment it for personal use. Yes, it is okay as well. This is such a beautiful gift to anybody. Like even if they are makeup professionals, I think they would really appreciate this kit because it is really fun to use. But if you are that kind of person who is looking for quality straight up, I suggest that you just invest a little more and then just look for other holiday gifts like Lorac, Anastasia Beverly Hills, or something like that because this is not going to be, literally not going to be your cup of tea. I think it's also pretty generous for Ulta to give a coupon for $5 off to any of their Ulta Beauty cosmetic brands. That is so nice. 
Again, this is just based on my personal experience. Some products can work for me, some products can work for you. I think when it comes to makeup, it all boils down to sometimes. It's about personal preference, but I really trying to express what I really feel about every product that I have tried. So yeah. So I was thinking about this lately and I think it would be nice if I can teach you guys one Tagalog word per video that I make and I will be doing this for like forever. <laughs> because I think being bilingual is just really nice and I just really wanted to share my language with you guys so just in case you guys are interested to travel to the Philippines at least you have uh, you know a little um, few words so today's word is going to be uh, for today's word it is ma ba it again ma ba it it means kind so that is the word for today and yeah. So that sums it up for today guys. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me and if you are still not part of the Sassy family, go ahead and subscribe. I upload Mondays to Fridays and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye!